Man, and a round of five under par in these conditions, that must be some of the best golf you've played. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it was really tough conditions. Uh, I kind of had something similar in the beginning of the year in Saudi. We had also very windy conditions. So maybe that helped me for this week. Um, but in these conditions, I just tried to stay patient, uh, pick my good starting lines from the tee with the wind and then kind of have, my, have the wind as my friend. You got off to a great start, three birdies in your first four holes. You must have felt there that things were clicking for you already. Yeah, I kind of was just trying to putt without the gusts, like you could hear it coming, so I just tried to putt when it, there was no gust. Uh, and they were quite long putts, a bit unexpected, but I'll take them. <laughs> when you go out on a day like today and you know it's going to be tough, do, 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 you, do you prefer that? Do you feel like, okay, there's a chance here? Um, I feel like if if it's winning like this, I'm always more focused, I feel like. Um, so maybe that helps me a little bit. Um, but I just know, um, I mean, you can also shoot low in windy conditions. So uh, you just have to stay patient out there and just try to hit good shots, make good contacts. And um, yeah, that's kind of what I try to do. You're top of the leaderboard in the Investec SA Women's Open. It's a, a prestigious title going into the weekend. How are you feeling for that challenge? Yeah, I think tomorrow is still going to be windy, maybe. Maybe I need the wind, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's still two days, it's still a long way to go, but I'm just going to keep working on my own game and focus on my own thing and then, yeah, we'll see at the end. Good. Perfect.